Well. You never would have believed it if I didn't tell you. Can we do another swinger song? And if I didn't I tell like you, swinger songs. you never would believe it. Swinger had come. Captain Cook was deep in thought no. and dreaming. Dreaming on his on his hammock as it was swinging back and forth. Dreaming of maybe on holiday with Captain Rosie. All of a sudden he woke up to a dreadful feeling. Cold water around his feet. He got up. He looked down and his feet were in water and there was a crab nibbling on his big toe. Get away from me, he said. The crab scurried away. Was it Elson? Captain Cook looked and his boat was sinking. Water was all the way up to his feet. He went outside and everyone was freaking out, running everywhere and jumping overboard. What be happening to my boat there? He said. Did he have a lifeboat? Well, did all his crew were jumping in? I don't in? know, Captain. She's just old, you know. We just... You know, we've, we just can't keep it together anymore. She's sinking. But me Black Pearl is my friend. My, my ship of the Black Pearl. Everybody's afraid of the Black Pearl. Sorry, Captain. She's just a goner. Come on, jump on the boat with us. Captain Cook ran down to his cabin real quick and got his precious things, which was three big diamonds. Sparkling crystal diamonds. And, of course, he got the leftover candy that he'd stolen from Deep Cove and jumped in the life raft. He Poor cried Black and Pearl. cried as Black Pearl sank to the bottom of the ocean. The diaper gun sunk with it. Everything was gone. Just the crew were floating around on lifeboats. And their precious jewels and stuff. Yeah. And oh, his Black cutlass Pearl, was he'd... sank. Yeah. The adventures he'd had with Black Pearl. The but times he... that he had... Did he have diver suits? No diver suits. He could go to... He could... He would he when people all were sleeping and the closer the closer still open, they could go and steal the um diver suits. And they could dive down and get all. No, they could go and steal the um some coins and jewelry from the others, from the other people that live on no, the no, land. No, no, he, he, he in could, the night. No, no, he um Shh. at night. At, at night, the Captain Cook could buy some dive suits for all of his crew, and they could dive down and get his, his, his this, the black pearl up again and fix the bottom. Well, that's a thought. The diver suits were hard to come by in this part of the woods. They floated out there for days, even weeks, without water or food. People were starting to think they were just going to die out there at sea. Captain Cook couldn't even barely talk. The sun was beating down on them when there was no wind. No, they could... They, could they were in grave trouble. If a human doesn't have water, he's not going to last long. All of a sudden, in the distance, they saw something. A pink flag. A pink flag with a rose in the middle. Captain Cook could barely see it. But as it got closer, he made out the picture of a rose. Oh, Captain Rose, he's coming. She'll be rescue us but for sure. She came in. Hello, yeah, Dad. What's the problem here? What are you doing down there on the water? Oh, we, our boat sank. 
Black Pearl's gone. Oh, dear, that's dreadful. Well, Pink Nightmare's strong as ever. Would you like to come aboard? Oh, yes, please. Okay, a couple of rules, please. No eating meat and no being mean to the girls on our ship. It's a girl's ship, not a boy's ship, and we're in charge. Okay, it's fine by me. Off they got. Went down and cleaned up for dinner. It felt so good to be out of the sun. They all had big showers. And went upstairs. For dinner, do you know what they had? What? They had sprouts. What's One that? big Yum. pile of sprouts. Well, Captain's Cook's crew were used to having meat. But they're vegetarians on the Pink Nightmare. Yeah. And sprouts it was. Yeah. I like the I like the black the, the pink. Um, Captain Ro Captain Rose ship and Captain Cook ship. Mm -hmm. But Captain Cook's boat sank. His color sank probably. He could die. Probably, probably he could. They had to have a plan to get to cut the the boat back. Mm -hmm. Well, the next morning. Captain Cook said to Rosie, I need to find a new boat. They looked in the boat trader, which was a magazine that got put out every month, and looked through at all the different boats for sale. There was a lot of rough-looking boats. But there was one boat that really caught his eye. It was actually a, a, a very white boat. Now, Captain Cook needs a mean-looking boat, not a white boat. Oh, what was that boat? Was that boat? Um, was that boat? Could you tell it like was that boat? Um, was that boat invisible? I want it. And was that boat invisible? Well, it's funny you should say that, but that was it. He knew that there was only one white boat in the world, and it was the invisible boat. It's a boat that if you really want it to, and you need to be invisible, it goes invisible. Can the only go. problem is it was white. But he could always give it a paint job, right? Yeah. I know, but it's good to be white, then you can't, then even, then you can, then people all, even if it's not, even if it's, even if it's not um, invisible, people can still think it's a ghost ship. Ah, good point. No, they could scrape off it, just scrape off the paint and put black paint on it. No. Well, Captain Cook went to Rosie and said, Would you mind taking me over there to have a look at this boat? Okay, said Rosie. They pulled up anchor and went towards where this boat was. You could see it a long way. Oh, shiny white. White everywhere. White sails, white ropes, white mast. And even white cutlasses. White cutlasses, white cannons. And was there a stinky diaper cannon and a cat cannon? Well, that's what they needed to find out. They take a look at the boat. They walked around it and checked everything. Windows she didn't shut good and didn't smell moldy downstairs. There was a couple of good toilets and uh, a few other little gadgets. Well, Captain Cook said, How much do you want for her then? And um, we're looking for a. Uh, uh, Five thousand gold pieces for the scale. Captain Cook looked and laughed. Are you having me on? Ah, uh, no, actually we're not. <laughs> um, I haven't got five thousand pieces of gold, mate. Ah, well, um, maybe the rowing boat over there is more your style. This is 